So this week we'll be playing Would You Rather. I'll be giving the boys a hypothetical question and they've got to choose which option they would rather do. So just to promote conformity, we'll be giving points to the majority. And with that, we'll need an honor system. Uh, so you boys have got to promise on Eddie Wu's bestseller, Wu's Wonderful World of Mathematics, that you guys will be honest. <laughs> Ready to do that, boys? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. All right, so the first one, we'll start off with a podcast favorite question. Would you rather for six months be a tree or be a person that everyone thinks is a pedophile? Hmm... All right, I've got my answer. Yeah, I got my answer as well. Wait, one one, one clarification: uh, is people who, the people who think you're a pedophile? Is that for six months as well, or is that yeah? It's, a it's just for six thing? months. After the six months, you're off off any register. I I would like to say. Do I, do I get to choose the type of tree? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah you get to choose tree. the type of tree. You get to choose which forest you're in. You yeah, get to yeah. choose all that. All right, you got your answer, bro. Yeah. What are you going with, mate? I'm going with the tree. All right, Sen, what are you going with? If it's only six months, I'm going with the pedo. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Kush, what are you going with? Since I've already lived the six months as a pedo, due to Sen, I'll go for the tree. <laughs> All right, Sen, why? Why? So Kush and Ray get the points, but why, Sen? No, because like you said, after six months, everyone forgets about it. No one remembers it. You know, six months, it's, just, it's a holiday at that point. You just go live by yourself somewhere, isolate. So ev everything you do, people are going to look at you with disgust, with disdain. I mean, that's it's a small price to pay, but... Let's not speak for everyone here. Some of us are the heroes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I'm, I'm thinking the alternative is... Do you want it? So you're being a tree for six months, right? Yeah. yeah. Sway I with could the wind, not baby. do it. No. Dude, what if they try and chop you down? Dogs piss. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that, to be honest. That is true. You can't. You can't stop someone from chopping you down. Dogs pee on you. Dead birds all over you every single day of the week. They're squirrels. <laughs> Dude, I'd rather just be a pedo. Just live by yourself for six months. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no, that's no. getting clipped up, Sam. <laughs> 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 I'm, no, I'm just looking at the opportunity cost. I'd rather be the pedo for six months than be an inanimate object. It's a no-brainer. So Sam would rather be a pedophile than a tree. I think it's a no-brainer. You'd be the source of Mongolia, a backyard tree. No one's chopping down trees in the backyard. Six months, I'll be But fine. you literally do nothing for six months. All right, so the next one. Would you rather have sex with your cousin and no one ever finds out? Or not have sex with your cousin, but everyone thinks you did. Oh, my cousin's like <laughs> 60 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so either you do it and no one knows, or you don't do it, but everyone thinks. Yeah, I'm going to have to go like the everyone thinks, but you didn't do it. All right, where are you going with Sani? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to mind go and work, dude. Let go. <laughs> He's trying to figure out how to say it. The gears are ticking. <laughs> He's trying to figure out how to say it in the least noncy way he can. <laughs> I'm taking Start with Kuwait. We'll go to Kush first. Yeah, I'll yeah. let you simmer on that scene. Kush, what are you going with? I'm a Rose here. Yeah, no, I'm a Rose So everyone thinks you did, but you didn't do it. Yeah. All right, Sani? I'm doing it. I'm 100% <laughs> doing it. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, I think we'll... I thought this is going to be an easy... <laughs> A whitewash question. No, you know, it's not an easy question, though, to be honest. Because, it's like, not. I didn't do my cousin, but everyone thinks I did a six-year-old. Like, that's that's exactly. almost worse. Like, you get what, what, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't you have other cousins other than the six-year-old? <laughs> anyone of age, preferably? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. Why did you go to a six-year-old first as well? You got him. <laughs> I don't want to step into your mind, Brody. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you shot yourself in the foot there, buddy. I'm moving on. <laughs> All right, now we'll, we'll move on for your sake. All right, next one. Would you rather be the smartest person in the room or the funniest? Mm. We'll move away from nonsery for a bit. Which room, though? Uh, just the room you're in. Regardless, it changes. Because like... it's a, a dynamic talent. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, I'm going to choose, look, oh, this is actually kind of a tough one because I'm already the funniest person in most rooms, you know what I mean? So do I try something different? Well, there goes Sen's head shaking. <laughs> That's a furious shake of the head by Sen's No, I was, I was literally going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'll br branch out Smartest person in the room Smartest? Sandy, what are you going with? No, I'll go funniest For sure 
Kush? Nah, I want one Smartish. I think you can do a lot with that. <laughs> you, can do, you can do a lot more with Smartish, yeah. surely. And I would just like to stay. We don't actually have an alliance on the. Uh, yeah, on what the is this? The show. <laughs> <laughs> They're just DMing on their phones on the side. <laughs> you two against me every single round. <laughs> All right. All right, next one. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson once or talk like Mike Tyson for the rest of your life? Ah. Oh. Oh, that's a no-brainer for me. Are we talking Mike Tyson is prime or are we talking Mike Tyson is 55 years old? Have you seen videos of him fighting recently? He's yeah, still got it. I, I literally He's still got the one, speed, the power. Watch one this morning. I don't think he has the, the speed, surely. He's still fast. Compare him to you. <laughs> yeah. He definitely has the speed and the power. Uh, You're not considering a 1v1 with Mike Tyson, are you, bro? <laughs> Oh, I think I am, honestly. <laughs> All right, Sandy, what's your what's your answer? I'm taking the second one for sure, dude. Did Mike Tyson Talk in his like prime could kill me? No, not not in his prime. We're talking 55 year old Mike Tyson, and even like yeah, now, he's, even bro, still, he's he'll buff. snap you like a twig. No, I'm not saying. I'm just saying I'll get slight brain damage, and I'll take that. Look, here's We're the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm gonna um, be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Actually, yeah. wait, that, one, that might make me talk I'm talk assuming like Kush agrees with Sen. I'm with Sen, yeah, yeah. And Rohit, you want to fight him? No, hold on. Just hold on one <laughs> second before you choose your answers here. I understand whatever. But, like, can you just think of the implications of actually speaking Mike Tyson, like Mike Tyson for the rest of your life? Have a lisp. You just said. He, he's, a lot of people have a lisp. He's going to give you brain damage anyway, and then you'll end up speaking like him. At, so, like, either way, you're going to end up speaking like Mike <laughs> no, Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Rose got the shoulder roll. He's got the weave, the well, duck and move. No, nah, all I'm thinking is you get hit once and you just fall down. You stay down for the count. Like, minimize, you know, brain damage. Yeah, you took a beating from Mike Tyson. You can actually put that on your resume. All right, so the next one. Would you rather shit a watermelon or piss a golf ball? Uh, oh. These are the hard hitting questions that people need to hear. Exactly. Isn't exactly. it like with um, kidney stones, you got to piss them out? Yeah, but they're not golf yeah. ball size. That's way too big. That's way too big. So hang on, when you're shitting the watermelon, is it with skin? <laughs> yes, it's firm. Assume, it's not. Okay. So. It's not a seedless, skinless watermelon. <laughs> Hang on, Kush. Is that a is that a deciding fact for you? I think so. <laughs> no, he makes a point. If there's no skin, it's soft. It's supple. It just comes out. I think I'd rather have the skin. Let it fall. But you'd rather have the skin. What? Like let it fall. Let it be firm. I don't yeah, want to be all mush. Yeah, yeah, you'd rather. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm with yeah. Kush on this one. I'm with Kush on this. Hundred percent. No, what is going on here? It's all like right. Pearl Harbor. What? Let it fall. Uh, <laughs> what the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm choosing the watermelon. No, but surely well. if there's no skin, it loses its shape. So it's just normal diarrhea at that point. Um, yeah. All right, so anyway, right here, what, <laughs> what option are you going for? <laughs> uh, I'm choosing the watermelon as well, because, like, don't fall up the urethra or down the urethra, I should say, is not an enticing, not a at all enticing if you're a guy. Did you say, like, normal diarrhea? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Just, just a week, just a weekly occurrence for you. Oh, honey, dude, I'm not getting enough fiber. Uh, Are we all going with the same answer? Yeah, this is unanimous. This is yeah. uh, this is an unanimous. easy one. All right, next one. Would you rather have All Star by Smash Mouth play every time you orgasm, or orgasm every time you hear All Star by Smash Mouth? Oh, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> at least if that's I hear, at least if I go the latter, I can actually orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. All right, Kush, what, which one are you going for? I'm, I'm with the second one, absolutely. So, so you'd rather orgasm every time you hear the song? 100%. I already do that, so it's all good. <laughs> it's just <laughs> par for the course. So wait, with, with the first one, how does it happen? Does it just automatically start playing out of somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> like the wind, it just comes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a dumb question from you. <laughs> yes. Think before you ask. Uh, uh, no, uh, I'm going with the first one. I'm going with the first one. It could be, it could be entertaining though, because like yeah, it, it, <laughs> it brings a comedic side to it. Yeah, but comedic like imagine if everyone knew that that was that that happened to you, right? So like every time you're in your room and your mum just is <laughs> smashing out <laughs> <laughs> all star. <laughs> no, but it goes both ways, I guess. In the other scenario as well, if they hear it, they know what's about to happen. Oh, well, there you go. Fair enough. All right, we'll go. We'll go for our last one of today. It's a. Would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? Ooh, damn, this is existential. It's no diarrhea at all. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's, let's go it's back a... to the nuances of taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a tough one. Yeah, you pick your poison with this one. Like, if you knew how you're going to die, you'd like avoid like that scenario, like anything that would put you in that kind of scenario. But then, if you knew when you were going to die. Like you'd be dreading that day and you'd be living like every day to your fullest knowing that 
this was the day you were gonna die. Yeah, you'd be, <laughs> no, you'd be looking pretty good, but then like let's say like a year, I'd say I'd, I'd get pretty freaked out maybe six months in. Yeah, and like you're like oh here we go, like it's coming. But I reckon I'm gonna take a gamble on the um, how I would die because if it's like a heart attack or something like that, you're laughing. Mm. No, but yeah, I guess because like that could happen at any point. Yeah, like, it's just like time. I was gonna die like that anyway. What you if know it's mean? like car crash? Yeah, no, that 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 see that's the, that's the gamble. If it's like car crash, I literally, I wouldn't even look at a car. I wouldn't get anywhere near a car. <laughs> no, but same with same with when you're going to die, right? To so gamble as well. What if it says six mu- in six months time? Not like when you're 90 years old. I assume it gives you a date, right? Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. But what if it gives you in six months time? Ah, uh, okay, right. You've, you don't have time to like live your fullest. Nah, you can do a lot unless it's like next week. <laughs> Depends. Are we in the current climate? You know what I mean? Like, it's current zeitgeist. <laughs> I don't. We've used that word many times. I don't think anyone knows what it means. No, I'm. I'm still gonna back the. Uh, what was I gonna back? When? No, sorry. How I would die. Yeah, uh, I, I think I'm a row there. The how you die, like you try to avoid that as much as possible. It's a gamble, but I think it's well worth the gamble. No, but it's gonna happen regardless, right? You can avoid it as much as you want, but you, that is how you're gonna die. So I would take when you die. I'd like to know when. At least you can live life at the fullest until up until that point. All right, so I think Rohit literally <laughs> is on the majority for that for That's... every single question. Yeah, well, there you go. I'm a sheep. All right, so with that question, Rohit actually cleans up with seven out of seven, Ro. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much.